So the big question is, who is truly the strongest Avenger out of all of the Avengers? And yeah, we can easily eliminate many of these characters on there. So yeah, Iron Man, he's not. Maybe if the maybe if the Infinity Gauntlet he is with you know in that when he had to use the Infinity Gauntlet at the end of Endgame. Spoilers for that movie, but everybody already seen that movie anyways. There's no need to spoil a movie that everybody already has seen. Hawkeye, no, yeah, Hawkeye's not the strongest Avenger. You know, Dale, not the strongest Avenger either. Basically, yeah, Hawkeye not doing anything. And yeah, a lot of these event, a lot of the Avengers are not that strong. Strong. So we'll be going over first is Ant Man. So Ant Man, you might think he, oh, Ant Man is just weak. But he isn't that he kills able to like one punch. World of Viatons. Like you know, in his giant form he was able to one punch and or fight and basically, you know there but he definitely is still nowhere near the strongest Avenger. You know, there basically he's still nowhere near the strongest Avengers out of the Avengers and the MCU, of course. We're using the MCU in terms of feats here. And yeah, yeah, he was able to one punch a fire ten, which makes him large relative to plus. Punch of fire ten is harder than Hulk and Forded, easy to defeat called Obsidian here. And yeah, he's able to keep up with Iron Man, Warby Scene, and other characters. But he's nowhere near the strongest Avenger. Then we're we'll be going over the characters that are discussing, like, you know, the, you know, pain, you know, basically like the event, you know, yeah, the Avengers vs. Saiyan Saga of Vegeta, that one. Avengers vs. Saiyan Saga of Vegeta, so I discussed the Avengers. So the first one we'll be discussing is what Brie Larson, who Brie Larson calls Captain Marvel the strongest Avenger. Well, she is not the strongest Avenger. Even versus Battle Week, he said, put a battle between her and four. And yeah, four actually won that battle here. Yeah. And yeah, she is Island Rubble, briefly overwhelmed Thanos. And restrained Thanos, forcing him to use the Power Stone to break out from her. Basically, almost broke the finger of the Gauntlet with one hand. There. And yeah. Well, and yeah, massively hypersonic, defeated many. There, we wind towers were thousands of light years away overnight, can fly interstellar distances. You know, but she's not the strongest. <laughs> Who is the strongest then? So we have the three Avengers. So three of them are there. So next is Doctor Strange, who has a lot of hacks. Basically, Doctor Strange, Marvel Cinematic Universe, Doctor Strange, he has a lot of hacks and stuff. He, you know, he, we haven't seen Doctor Strange's real strength. Like, when he was fighting against Thanos, he basically lost on purpose. So, you know, so yeah, Doctor Strange lost on purpose. So we don't know how strong Doctor Strange truly is. So it'd be stronger than his Doctor Strange self. Our Thanos really owned four fifty so it held his own better than everyone else. Attempted to trap Thanos if it mirrors it. Mention as well for him to use energy whips and it comes to the power stone, the soul stone to break free. Fanos when it has powers for you know, can it and yeah, Doctor Strange is also able to ignore their ability. And the thing is, we don't really know Doctor Strange's full power because we didn't, because of course, we didn't, he didn't, we really didn't get to see him use his full power because he lost on purpose. Okay, there's a difference between losing and losing on purpose. Doctor Strange lost on purpose, so basically. One of the many outcomes can happen in Doctor Strange. We don't know how fast that you know how fast Doctor Strange truly is. Did the Cocoa River tasted? You know he was briefly able to restrain Thanos as well. Well, so people you know Doctor Strange would be at Captain Marvel level as well because Doctor Strange was like able to restrain Thanos really easily. We and it took it took Thanos using two stones to get. Out of the get out of the doc get out of Doctor Strange's hack. So yeah, Doctor Strange is definitely about more. And we have Scarlet Witch who basically almost killed who could have killed Thanos. Okay, who could have killed Thanos basically 
I think we all admit, we all know that he will probably kill Thanos in that scene. Basically, what's made would make us stronger than Captain Marvel as well. You know, Iron Rubble with magic. See, single energy puts balance with its, with its energy blast with a considerable amount, you know, while destroying the minds at the same time. Despite Thanos, he leaves himself a rebellion. And Ray and Thanos, he's a very overpowered Thanos again. God is in the fall, called Bababa and Fear according to Kevin Feige, would have killed him. And yeah, Captain Marvel, you know, she got pushed away with just, you know, she got pushed away. That's like that, okay? But Scott Ritz would have killed Thanos, just like that. You know, just like that. <laughs> would have killed Thanos with the. Who killed Thanos? Then we have four. The MCU four. They were using four. We were using Storm Picker. Thing is, you know, we didn't. You know, four. You know, Iron Rubble, comparable to the. Uh, you know, to the other characters of Stormbreaker as well. So. Yeah, I vowed to class of higher, higher with Stormbreaker. Thing, thing of Stormbreaker four is we don't. You know. We don't really. We haven't really seen all of Stormbreaker four's feats, so we haven't really seen, because again. Four became Fat Four. Fat Four is definitely weaker than, but yeah, Fat. You know, Four is able to injure Thanos with all of his Infinity Stones. Four is still able to injure Thanos with all of his Infinity Store Stones in hand. I think that should be able to be a big feat in itself because Thanos had all of his Infinity Stones. Yes. Four caught Thanos, and and Thanos was trying to was even trying to stop Stormbreaker. He was trying, but he couldn't. And that was fat. Actually, Four would probably would be the strongest Avenger with Stormbreaker without and not Fat Four. Okay, Fat Four is different. Okay, Fat Four is definitely weaker than Captain Marvel. We can all agree on that. Fat Four is definitely weaker than Captain Marvel because he's Fat Four. He's not that strong. I was gonna say, and also Hulk, people would be like, what about Hulk? Hulk is not near the level as the top t as the other four, okay? Hulk is not on the same level. We actually discussed Hulk several times. Hulk is basically a, also mountain level. He isn't near, iron, he's not iron level like the other Avengers we discussed. Yeah, so yeah, Hulk is not, is not strong enough to be among the strongest Avengers, basically. He is he is in the top of he is he is in the upper level of Avengers, but you know he is not the top four Avengers. Probably the top five Avengers because you know which is still pretty high. When you, when you realize that most of the Avengers are not that strong, you know most of the Avengers are basically you know building level to wall level, which is Black Widow. Who is the weakest Avenger? Because Black Widow is wall level. Basically, you know. Well, well yeah, there we go. So we have figured out the strongest Avenger using scaling. I yeah, it'll be probably a store for Stormbreaker. Or, uh, and then Scout Ritz would probably be second than Doctor Strange because of his hacks. And then Captain Marvel. So, I mean, yeah, Captain Marvel would only be in fourth place. And, yeah, as the MCU evolved, this question will change over time. As new characters get introduced, you know, new characters with new hacks and abilities, you know, there. But, yeah, I think for with Stormbreaker, you know, he, you know, he was, his Stormbreaker was able to, you know... Yeah, I think for Stormbreaker that, you know, fit for, you know, Stormbreaker. For at the end of Infinity War, Stormbreaker will probably will have been able to kill Thanos just like Scarlet Witch just dead. Almost dead. So, yeah. That's basically about it. And yeah, he was, a, he, he was, a, he was able, he Stormbreaker was able to resist, you know, Thanos' blast of all of the Infinity Stones. So yeah, he would probably... For Stormbreaker probably still is the strongest event. And actually in the comic book, for like, you know, world complex multiversal or, you know, world like hyperversal level as well. So yeah, it's not surprising that four is actually the strongest 
of all of the Avengers. So that's basically it about this video. Goodbye.